In this episode of Van in West Kentucky, we take a look at the now closed retailer Pier 1 Imports, and at the end of the video we will feature a few shots of the former West Kentucky location that was located on the Hinkleville Road in Paducah. Pier 1 Imports is a Fort Worth based company founded in 1962 and known then as Cost Plus Imports. In 1966, a group of investors bought Cost Plus Imports and changed its name to Pier 1 Imports. From its opening in 1962 to 1966, the company grew to 16 locations and established a Fort Worth headquarters. In 1970, the company went public on the American Stock Exchange, followed by their inclusion to the New York Stock Exchange in 1972. By this time, the company had grown to 123 stores. The Royal Oak, Michigan location reported one million in sales in 1979 as the company finished off the 70s with a steady growth. 1985 saw the number of stores rise to 265, the goal of the company at that point in time was to double that number by 1990. In 1991, sales soared to 562 million, but the company saw the net income shrinking increasingly as the retail market became more competitive. At this time, the store chain was operating 650 stores. President of the company, Clark Johnson, slowed expansion in 1991 to only a few stores due to economic sluggishness. 1994, 48 more locations opened along with the closing of 17 poor performing stores. And you know that you're going to get something different. In 1995, so Pier 1 launched like its first series of national television ads in July. The company also discovered 19.3 million in losses due to what the New York Times described as inappropriate trades by a financial advisor later that year in December. They come in different colors and I'm into that. 1996, the company entered an agreement with Sears to develop what they referred to as stores within a store at select Sears locations in Puerto Rico. In 1998, the company saw a 28% growth in sales. In 2000, Pier 1 embraced the internet by establishing their first website, Pier1.com, later signing Kersey Alley as the company's first celebrity spokesperson. Shortly after, in 2001, Pier 1 acquired Cargo Furniture and Home and revamped the company into a specialty children's home store. 2002 saw the company celebrate its 40th year in business, adopting the slogan, From Hippie to Hip, and offered promotions throughout the year to coincide with their anniversary. The following decade, mounting competition from internet-centered companies such as Amazon along with Walmart's ever-growing focus on internet-based shopping, presented the first of many issues to come for the retailer. April of 2019, Pier 1 announced it could close as many as 145 stores, about 15% of its nearly 1,000 locations. S&P Global Ratings warned that the potential for a bankruptcy filing or debt restructuring is continuing to increase for Pier 1, as its retail performance continued to deteriorate significantly. In a USA Today article, S&P said of the company, the negative outlook reflects that we do not see a path for Pier 1 to return to profitability in the coming six months to one year, even when factoring in the full impact of planned performance improvements. Competition finally caught up with Pier 1 with more affordable home good offerings from World Market and IKEA. Adding to the cloud of troubles for the company, more and more people were opting to shop strictly online and on January 6, 2020, the company announced they were closing 450 stores. At that time, 
This did not include the Paducah, Kentucky location featured here. In the February 2020, Pier 1 and seven affiliated companies filed for bankruptcy and announced liquidation on May 19, 2020. The company is still alive as an internet-only retailer through Pier1.com. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Abandoned West Kentucky. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep up with future videos. Well, some businesses are reopening. Another well-known chain is closing its doors. Pier 1 Imports announced today it will begin closing all of its stores. The home furnishings company said it tried to find ways to remain in business, but that liquidation was the best option. Pier 1 currently has more than 500 stores, which was already cut down from 1,000 last year. The company plans to sell its remaining inventory. Levels and uncertainty of the post-COVID shopping world has what led to its decision. The stores will begin closing efforts and liquidation sales once they can reopen. You can still place orders online.